Today, telecommunication is widespread and devices that assist the progress are common in many parts of the world. There is also a vast array of networks that connect these devices, including computer, telephone and cable networks. Computer communication across the Internet, such as email and instant messaging, is just one of many examples of telecommunication. Food is one of the most important things you'll ever buy. And yet most people never bother to think about their food and where it comes from. People spend a lot more time worrying about what kind of blue jeans to wear, what kind of video games to play, what kind of computers to buy. We all know about bacteria, viruses, and microscopic protozoa. We can watch the way that these tiny agents move into our bodies and damage our organs. We have a growing understanding of how our body mounts defensive strategies that fight off these invaders, and have built some clever chemical that can help mount an assault on these biovillains.
Conservation scientists have long tried to map how much of the planet remains undegraded by human activity. Previous estimates using satellite imagery or raw demographic data found anywhere from 20 to 40 percent of the globe was free from obvious human incursions, such as roads, light pollution or the gaping scars of deforestation. But an intact forest canopy can hide an emptied out ecosystem below. How quickly the seekers depends on the dynamics of fertility, mortality and overseas migration. While a moderate pace of demographic change allows for gradual adjustment of the economy and policies to the change in population demographics, rapid changes are more difficult to manage. As a result, governments and society as a whole may need to take actions to address these issues. Biology is the natural science that studies life and living organisms, including their physical structure, chemical processes, physiological mechanisms and evolution. Certain unifying concepts consolidate it into a single and coherent field that recognizes genes as the basic unit of heredity, and evolution as the engine that propels creation and extinction.
Charlie Chaplin and his brother Sidney were placed in an orphanage at a very early age. Becoming a vaudeville performer, he joined Fred Carnot's company in 1906. 1906. He made his film debut in Making a Living and introduced the famous CD and soft-hearted gentleman Tramp Routine, which became his hallmark. Numerous films for various studios brought him world fame, all based on his mastery of pathos and slapstick acrobatics. English colonies emerged along the eastern seaboard for a variety of reasons. People, primarily men, originally migrated to Virginia to find gold and silver to make a quick profit. After it became evident that there were no precious metals in the area, men came to Virginia to start cultivating cash crops like tobacco. Aquaculture, also known as aquafarming, is the farming of aquatic organisms such as fish, crustaceans, mollusks and aquatic plants. Aquaculture involves cultivating freshwater and saltwater populations under controlled conditions.
History is selective. What history books tell us about the past is not everything that happened, but what historians have selected. They cannot put in everything, choices have to be made. Choices must similarly be made about which aspects of the past should be formally taught to the next generation in the shape of school history lessons. Along with customary classes on subjects such as finance, accounting, and marketing, today's MBA students are enrolling on courses for environmental policy and stewardship. Indeed, more than half of business schools require a course in environmental sustainability or corporate social responsibility, according to a survey of 91 U.S. business schools published in October 2005. But on May 3rd, a couple of weeks later, Lincoln issued an executive order calling for 43,000 three-year volunteers for the Army, and also increasing the size of the regular Army and Navy by 40,000 men. Both of these actions were in apparent violation of the Constitution.
If countries can specialize in certain goods, they can benefit from economies of scale and lower average cost. This is especially true in the industry with high fixed costs or that require a high level of investment. The benefits of the economy of scale will ultimately lead to lower prices for consumers and greater efficiency for exporting firms. In spite of the spectacularly high quality of life for the vast majority of the people who live in the European Union, its inhabitants seem obsessed by the region's relative decline in the world. Slow economic growth rates and high unemployment have reinforced the impression that Europe is unhappy with today and unsure of tomorrow. The latest scientific evidence on the nature and strengths of the links between diet and chronic diseases is examined and discussed in detail in the following sections of this report. This section gives an overall view of the current situation and trends in chronic diseases at the global level.